Where's the drum? I need a drum. We got rid of worst drum ever. Hey everyone, it's Michelle and today I am finally, finally, finally doing my lipstick declutter. Not just lipstick, but like lippy products in general. We are going to go through them all one by one and hopefully not take a billion years to do so. So I've got my hair tied back, I'm ready to sweat, I'm ready to get through all these freaking lippies. So if you want to join me, let's go. Let's go look at them all. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. All right, so lippies. As you can see, I have a ton. So there's some on that bottom row right there and then obviously most of the holes are filled. I also have this little bag that's full of mini lips. Oh boy. I'm thinking what I'll do is take them out by brand and start there and go through and swatch the ones that are questionable and I can immediately pull out the ones that I know I'm going to keep. Quickly before I totally get into it, um, there was a question of how this shelf came to be um, in the comments of my original declutter. So I'll try to show you how it's put together the best I can. My husband built it for me. So this bottom shelf is just a flat shelf that everything can sit on. The palettes, however, the wood is at a slant so that they won't fall. There we go, you can kind of see it better right there. Same thing for this shelf that I put highlighters and like highlighting palettes, face palettes, all that. It's at a slight slant so nothing falls off. Same thing with this shelf, it's at a slight slant so that my blushes and bronzers don't fall. And then for this he drilled holes that would be big enough for mascara and then I wanted a row that could fit eyeliners so he did that for me. Then as we go up, because I do have so many lippies, he did most of the shelves with the big holes so they could fit lips. And then the very top one, I asked that he would do the same as the eyeliner shelf so that I could fit lip liners. It's hard to really get it all in frame because it's just that massive, but that might give you a better idea of how it's constructed. And then he hung it on the wall. All right, let's go through these lippies. All right, so I'm starting with Arguably my favorite brand of lippies first, Dose of Colors. I feel like I have so many, but honestly, looking at it, it's, it's not that bad. I have two of their glosses. I've got Rockin' It, which is my favorite gloss. I wear it all the time. I usually keep this in my purse, actually. I regret not buying a backup because it is the perfect nude gloss. It's so, so good. So definitely keeping that. This gloss is cotton candy. Um, yeah, this one's really not my style. Is it stupid of me to be like, but I could hold on to it in case I'm ever Barbie for Halloween? I'll put that in the maybe. I'm not sure about that yet. These two are excellent. They're from the I Love Sara E collaboration. Um, I've got Peachy and Nude Chica, and they're both bomb. So I'll keep those. God, I'm probably just going to keep most of these. I just got this one, Bodiful, from the Minnie Mouse collection. I'll be keeping this one. And pretty much if it's a liquid lipstick, I'm keeping it. I've got Bear With Me. Bury Me. I don't know the name of this one. My husband got it for me and the sticker came off, but it's really dark and nice for fall. So I'm keeping that one. And then Stone, which is the best shade ever. So I'm definitely keeping that. We've got a Mauve Story from the Desi and Katie collection, keeping that. And then the Hey Girl lipstick, which I'm also keeping. It's lovely. Then I have three mini liquid lip lipsticks. The shades are Catching Feelings, Heartbreaker, and Truffle. And they're all really beautiful, so I'll be keeping those as well. This is the questionable formula from them. I shouldn't even say formula. I like the formula. I'm not a huge fan of the application, but I really do like the shades I have. This one's from the Mickey Mouse collaboration, 1928, and it's like a peachy nude. And I've got brulee and glazed. Well, so far I'm not off to the best start, seeing as how I'm keeping all of them but one. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I've got Stila, which is also one of my favorites. This is so tough. And I know what you're thinking on the top row, two, three, and four look very similar, but I assure you they're all different shades. I've got four minis, six full size, and only one of the minis is a duplicate for its shade right above it, Patina. I think I'm gonna have to do this declutter differently because I'm keeping all of these. I wear my Stila lippies seriously all the time. I think I need to go pull the brands that I'm not going to keep all of them of. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. I did not realize just how many Too Faced lips I had. Holy cow. 
So I have 11 full-sized melted mats. I have seven mini melted mats. I have a mini melted latex. I have three of their cream lipsticks, two mini melteds, and then two um, peach perfect lipsticks. So let's get into this a little better. Right now I can pull both um, its happenings, the full size and the mini. I never wear hot pink and I'm pretty sure I had to have gotten both of these as free gifts because I wouldn't have bought them and I can tell you I've never worn them. So those are out. All right, this is a mini sellout. I have a full size sellout, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I'm also gonna get rid of the melted latex because that's not a formula I like. It's just too sticky. Then I also have a full drop dead red, so I'm gonna get rid of the mini as well. I bought the shade Granny Panties because it looked like a purplish grayish, but it just pulls gray on me, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. The rest of these I really like, actually, and I love, I love these four minis from their Christmas collection. They smell so good, and they're all beautiful shades. Now these cream lipsticks, let's look at them closer. I feel like the two on the left look like the same exact shade. So there's Honey Bear, Sweet Maple, and Sugar Daddy. I'm going to Sugar Daddy on the right because it's a pretty nude, but I'm going to get rid of the two on the left. And right, I've got a little Melted Berry and Chihuahua. I'm going to declutter both of these little mini Melteds. I don't think I've ever worn them and I'm not going to start. But these Peach Perfect lipsticks, I actually really like them. Sure thing and Sunday Fun Day. They're both just really pretty nudes and I really like the packaging. I like the colors. I'm keeping these ones. Colourpop lippies. I'm obviously a huge fan of the Luxe lipstick formula. The three on the left are all Disney collaborations. We've got Ariel, Belle, and Hades. I'll be keeping those three. Let's look at the rest. Okay, these two were part of the Kathleen Light Zodiac collection. On the left is What's Your Sign? On the right is Scorpio Moon. I'm keeping both of these. All right, then we've got Tiptoe on the left and Carousel on the right. I wear Tiptoe all the time. Carousel, I don't reach for unless I'm doing something that's really orangey because it pulls super orange on me. So I think I'll get rid of Carousel and keep Tiptoe. On the left is Stone Fox. On the right is Still Crazy. I just swatched them right there. I'm going to keep Still Crazy on the right and get rid of Stone Fox on the left. I have two Ultra Satin Lips, Dopey and Screenshot. I'm going to declutter both of them. I never wear them. I've got three Ultra Glossy Lips. One from the um, Disney Princess Collection, Vividi. One from the Villains Collection, Puppies. And then this is the Makeup Shayla, I think it was their first collab. It's Neat Freak and it's one of my favorite glosses. It's so good. So I'm keeping all three of those. Lippy pencils, one of them is out. Uh, this one? Yeah, I didn't realize that until earlier. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and keep these two. I guess I didn't realize how many Tarte lippies I owned either, Jesus. The Tarte lip paints were something that when I first started getting into makeup, they were one of the first liquid lipsticks I tried and I really liked them. Now, as my taste has evolved, so have my preferences, and I'm actually going to, I think I'm gonna get rid of all the lip paints. Now, not these two lip paint glosses. These are different. They're these glittery glosses and they're beautiful, but all of these lip paints, I'm going to say goodbye to, as well as these two minis over here. I've had this lipstick for a long time. This was like my first prestige, if you wanna call it, Tarte Prestige, um, prestige lipstick buy. The shade is Angelic Nude, and it's at least two years old, so I'm going to get rid of it. I think I've just been holding on to it for sentimental reasons, and I never wear it. I've got two of the Rainforest of the Sea lippies. Um, we've got Skinny Dip over here and Vacay. I'm going to keep Skinny Dip and get rid of Vacay. I feel like the lip sculptors are so underrated. I never see anyone talk about these, and they are one of my favorite lippies. I'll show you one for example. On one end is a very creamy, lovely lipstick, and on the other end is a very nice gloss. So I'm keeping all of my lip sculptors, except for this mini one. This is my favorite shade. It's a peachy nude. It's called Life, but it melted in my car, and I've been holding on to it just because I hate getting rid of my favorite one, but I love it so much I can just buy a new one if I really need it. And then I really don't see people talk about these much either. These are the lippy lingeries, and I like the formula. They're just essentially like crayon type lipstick, but I really like the formula. I'm gonna keep those three. I'm gonna get rid of these darker three though because I never wear these shades. All right, I'm feeling better about this declutter now. I don't really have many Becca lippies. Um, these three mini glosses, I have another one too. It's red, it's in my purse, and I'm too lazy to go get it, but I will be keeping it. I'm going to keep the two ultimate lipstick loves I have. I think I have shade Tulip and Mauve. 
And then I'm gonna keep the two glosses on the right. I'm going to get rid of the one on the left though. I swatched it and it's just not really for me. Okay, I really like the Ofra liquid lipstick formula. Most of mine are the old packaging and that's okay. I'm going to keep all but Mina, which is this lovely wine shade right here, only because it's patchy. I love the color, but I don't have the patience to deal with the patchiness, so that one's got to go. I went through my Jeffree Star lippies. The only one that's going is this bullet lipstick, shade Baby Spice. It's just too pink for my liking. Okay, MAC. I don't have too many MAC lipsticks. I'm definitely keeping the Aladdin one because I just got it and it's gorgeous. And then I'm keeping both of my MAC Patrick Star lips, the gloss and the lipstick, because they're both beautiful. I guess I didn't realize the one on the right was also Patrick Star. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I've got the MAC Nicki Minaj, um, Brush in Red and Brave. I'm going to keep the Nicki Minaj one because it's a beautiful pink nude. And then I'm going to declutter the other two. All right, here we've got some random stuff going on. So all four of those NYX lippies, there's three lip lingeries and then a mini butter gloss. Those are going. Lime Crime like lip topper that's gotta go. Huda Beauty liquid matte, hmm. We just swatched it right there. It's pretty, I'll keep that one. I have a mini melted matte, but I just went through all my melted matte, so I don't need that. I honestly can get rid of all four of these as well. I don't use them. That's old, this was never used, but I'm probably never going to use it. Okay, this is going good, getting rid of all those. This is NARS Bound, I love it. This is NARS Orgasm, it's cute. I've got a Red NARS, Buxom, Kevin Aquan, Smashbox Pixie, Benef Benefit? No, Bare, Bare Minerals, and Lipstick Queen. Those can all go. So to make things easier, I took out my only Lime Crime lippy, which was that lip topper. Um, same thing with my Jeffree Star lippies. I just took out that Bullet Lipstick Baby Spice that I didn't want. I'm keeping all of my Anastasia Beverly Hills lippies. I like all of those. And then the last few lip liners I have left, I'm keeping. Okay, honorable mentions, my three Persona cosmetic liquid lipsticks and my two Laura Lee Los Angeles liquid lipsticks. I knew I would be keeping all of those because I wear them very frequently. And then a few more I'm keeping. I have one Marc Jacobs lip gloss stick that I love in Sugar Sugar. I have one Bite Beauty lipstick in Meringue that I love. My Fenty Beauty gloss balm, keeping that. And then I'm still testing these two out. This is Paracone MD and this is Trustique, so I don't wanna get rid of those yet. As for my little bag of mini lipsticks, I'm also keeping all of these for now. I added a few more minis that were on the shelves into the bag that I already went through and showed you guys. And I just, I like having options to throw in my purse or the diaper bag, so I like to have minis around. Holy cow. What a difference. Like, I have a whole shelf clear. I have so much space for growth. Not like I need growth. I think the idea with lippies is unless that it's something I have to have, I'm not getting. You guys, holy smokes, we got rid of 55 lip products. Yay! Everything from bullet lipsticks to liquid lipsticks to lip gloss to lip liners. We got it. We got it all covered. All bases were covered. Without being too loud and obnoxious. At first, starting with Dose of Colors, that was stupid because that's one of my favorite brands, so obviously I didn't really want to get rid of too many of those. It started rough because I wanted to keep them all, so I didn't know how this was going to go, but it went pretty well. 55 is a lot. I have so much room for growth now, even though I really don't need to grow my lips anymore. I like knowing that the formulas I have, I like, and the colors I have, I like. And I was still able to hold on to some of my more fun colors so that if I want to do something a little outside of the box, I have the option to. Anyway, that wraps it up. That was it. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, sorry about it. And uh, I'll talk to you guys real soon. Bye.